It all started with this video that was shown during the Tesla Cybertruck unveiling last week uh, as uh, Cybertruck was kicking butt of Ford F-150 uh, going uphill. And I thought it was actually one of the best parts of the presentation, but uh, everybody, everyone's memory has been shattered with the presentation itself, uh, with the glass breaking, with, with the design, design of the truck that I'm more and more people actually falling in love with. I have a video about that um, that I posted, but you know, we, 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 we forgot about this moment until uh, Elon tweeted it out to remind us that, you know, F-150 is just not as good as the Cybertruck is going to be. And listen, uh, Ford F-150 is the most popular truck out there. And obviously that's the measuring stick for uh, for Tesla as well. So fair fair point, Elon. And uh, it was, it, you know, it was well received. No, no one was gonna be bothered by it, I don't think, um, until <laughs> out of all people, Neil deGrasse Tyson decided to butt in and point out that maybe Elon wasn't really that fair to Ford and really both trucks should have been loaded so the Ford could get more tri uh, friction going from its rear axles and and you know he he obviously has a point he's he's the smart guy there and uh you know elon uh, went back and forth between uh him and uh, neil and you know they kind of agree that they should they should definitely redo it um and even then it was kind of started to kind of come down until this guy you know chimed in now this is sunny madra he's a, a vp at ford i believe he's a vp of ford x and he put it in saying this Hey, Elon Musk, send us a Cybertruck and we will do the apples to apples test for you. Wink, wink, wink. All right. Um, are you insane? Uh, I, I mean, uh, what do you think? First of all, what do you, don't calling Elon Musk at this point is not the smartest thing to do if you're part of uh, a legacy manufacturer, dude. And, uh, you know, the, uh, and the only reply that I thought that Elon was going to reply with is exactly what he said. And he said, bring it on. Because, I mean, it, I'm pretty sure Cybertruck is going to kick, kick uh, Ford's uh, butt once again, even in that test. You know, so, and this is where things got interesting because everyone was like, all right, round two, tug of wars. You know, let's go. They were going to stream it live. It was going to happen in a week. Everyone's just shopping for popcorn, getting ready to go and uh, playing tailgate. But 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 things have uh, gone very differently that we all kind of thought and wanted to. Here's what happened. And before that, of course, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Climate Exchange. Check out there. Raffle is back. The Tesla raffle is back. Um, only 4,000 tickets are going to be sold and they're going to do it in February. Uh, get yours uh, today. It's a great uh, holiday present. Uh, the, there's a link in the description of this video and you can if you win you can pick any Tesla you want up to $195,000 in value and even if you don't win uh, you're still going to be donating to a great a great cause uh, carbonraffle.org is the URL all right so what really happened after that well Ford issued a statement and literally <laughs> put the brakes on it and here's what they said they basically said uh, Sunny's tweet was tongue-in-cheek to point out the absurdity of Tesla's video nothing more so they pretty much lost twice uh, second time by forfeit and I still didn't even like the statement what do you mean absurdity of Tesla's video I mean if you think it was absurd then you know take Sunny's advice or create your own and see if you can win I don't think you guys can win and here's the thing it's a shame because Ford out of all legacy manufacturers had a really good year turning around on electric cars Earlier this year, as you remember, they've invested into Rivian, and now Rivian's uh, technology is probably going to go into uh, Ford's trucks, future trucks. And uh, this week, they announced that one of the Ford's brands, Lincoln, is also going to be using Rivian's technology. Um, as you probably remember, remember last week uh, or a week before our Cybertruck unveiling, uh, Ford Mustang uh, Mach E. Uh, was unveiled and it's a very decent car i think it's going to sell really really well ford showed full commitment to this um if you guys haven't seen my videos you can definitely see that and i'll make more videos um of of, of this so that was you know something that's that, you know and elon congratulated them which was kind of like you know getting the old elon musk back he sent congratulations and saying hey you, you know congratulations on the mock e sustainable electric cars of the future excited to see this announcement from ford blah 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 so uh, by the way i love what elon's been doing lately he's been the elon that i fell in love with originally 
before he just went crazy. Um, so, you know, and, and, and by the way, if you want to see more pictures like this, this is me hanging out with the mock -E, uh, about an hour after the unveiling, uh, just kind of chilling there, uh, spending some, uh, some good quality time with them. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. There's tons of pictures like that, including this one with, uh, you know, this is when I was able to outrun uh, the security there at that event and take a picture with uh, Jim Hackett, the CEO of Ford. Um, I'm only assuming he's smiling because uh, he did not see the video yet from the Cybertruck unveiling. Um, so it's a shame, you know, uh, because, uh, you know, I felt a little bit of love in the air between, you know, uh, Elon and, and, and Ford and just the whole electric car revolution thing. Um, but unfortunately, uh, it, was, it was kind of spoiled by this. And here, listen, all of this... All of this publicity to to the Cybertruck and you know comparison to other brands, you know, it, it's not only good for the entire electric car revolution. It's also good for pushing the brands like Ford and hopefully GM and you know Toyota. Hello, um, to do better and know that they do not have a safe haven in a, a certain part of the industry, right? Like you know. Ford and GM might have thought, well, okay, you know, let Tesla fool around with all this little, um, you know, four-door sedans and luxury cars. But, you know, we got what really matters, which is trucks. Um, well, they've ruined that, right? Uh, also, the hypercars and sports cars are being ruined by Tesla and Pininfarina and the Remots uh, also. And obviously, semi-trucks have been... Uh, I, I think the lesson here is there is no safe haven for the legacy manufacturers like Toyota, like GM, who just are not budging. Uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, that's, that's, that's coming to an end. And again, Ford is kind of on the front line uh, with that. GM has announced that they're also going to be producing an all electric uh, a truck. And um, yet to hear from Toyota as always, but I'm sure their truck is going to be fuel cells, right? I don't care which way they drive themselves into bankruptcy. I actually do hope they at this point do that because I just came from a LA Auto show and you know once again they made a step back with the RAV4 which they used to make an all-electric and now they decided to throw an engine back in there so and it's still gonna be like the best-selling unfortunately best-selling uh, plug-in hybrid so yeah by the way uh, all of these videos that you're watching on YouTube they're actually live on Patreon so if you want to see them before anybody else pretty much join my Patreon family and don't forget I'm a full-time YouTuber so this is how this and sponsors like Lemon Exchange is how I pretty much uh, eat and <laughs> shop for groceries, pay my rent. Uh, so, and thank you to one of my uh, latest uh, and newest Patreons, uh, Arnat. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our VIP list where we send you new stories. Uh, the, the ones that they just couldn't fit in into uh, the daily uh, news on this channel or e4lecture.com website. So we just send it straight through email. Uh, there's a link in the description of this video. So check that out and sign up. It's free. All right. Looking forward to your comments other than that. See you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.